everybody. So it's Sunday. I got a little bit of time, and I'm in charge of dinner today. So I'm gonna be making some cornbread beef baked casserole thing. But for dessert, got my favorite book, Professional Pastry Chef by Bo Freeberg. This thing's been a winner so far. So today we're gonna try lemon curd. Do 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 lemon curd. And I'm wondering if lemon curd is the filling for like a hostess lemon pot. That would be super sweet. Anyway, it's really simple recipe. Uh, one and a half cups of lemon juice, finely grated zest of eight lemons, eight eggs, one pound, eight ounces of granulated sugar, and 12 ounces of unsalted butter. Now that's if you own a restaurant. So pretty much I've found that I cut each of these recipes in half and that just comes out just right. So, what do I have to do? I've got a zest of lemon. This is a lemon zester. Made by KitchenAid, apparently. Anyway, it's pretty good. I've washed some lemons. So now, before I juice them, because they're gonna lose a lot of their structure after I juice them, so it'll be hard to zest them. So, let's see if I can... So you see what happens is you just begins to develop the zest on the back side of it. So, just go around the lemon, get the zest, make it zesty. So, I pretty much just make one pass until it's white. So you'll see yellow, and that's what it looks like after it's been skinned. Make sure you don't do that to your skin, holy smokes. You'd have to throw away all your lemon zest and your skin probably wouldn't feel so great either afterward. So what I'm going to do is I'll go about halfway and then I'll rotate it probably. You know what? I'm losing some of my zest here. So I'm going to scrape that down a little bit. So you can also just go like this with your finger. Yeah, it's all zesty. Anyway, anywhere where I see some yellow still left, I'm zested. So I'm going to go ahead and zest the rest of these, and we'll spare you having to watch all of this. All right. So that's what four lemons zested looks like. Next step, I need three-quarter cup of lemon juice with these floppy lemons. Ugh, that'd be a mess, I bet. <laughs> Not much left of these guys. You know what I should do? Get a trash can ready. There we go. Oh, look at that good stuff. Whew, just falls right apart. There's no substance left on these. Back at it. Now the only problem is this is a large measuring cup. You know me, I'm always uh, doing things, measuring utensil pour, and it starts at a cup. <laughs> we'll see if that's a problem. I have to eyeball three quarters of a cup. Or maybe we'll just see what we get out of these lemons and we'll call it good. We're juicing. We're on the juice. You know, I think we're going to go ahead and call that good. Maybe just to be extra lemony. Lemony, sniggity, fresh. We'll go a little bit over. Well, maybe we'll put a cup of lemon juice in there. Actually, you know what? I think it's going to be about right. There's hardly anything left of this lemon. There we go. Call it good. Okay, we gotta combine 12 ounces of sugar, which I've already measured here. And it's four eggs instead of eight. Oh, 
Alright. So they want you to whisk this together a little bit. And I have not turned on the flame yet. And when I do, we're going to do this low and slow, real low, real slow. What they did want me to do was add the zest and the lemon juice together. I'm not sure why that is. We'll see if that ruins the recipe by me not doing that. Here comes the zest. Get ready for the zest. All right. Zesty, zesty. And the last will be the butter. We have six ounces of butter measured out. Ugh. Get in now. It's actually a little bit over, so we're not going to worry about it. All right, now I'm going to put it on the lowest of heats. This is going to be, if you remember my chocolate ice cream very similar to the chocolate ice cream. You're gonna do this very low and very slow. You're making a custard, you're not making scrambled eggs. So the trick is gonna be incorporating everything and slowly, slowly bringing this to a boil. So I currently have it on very, very, very low heat. So we'll come back to it in a couple minutes after this has melted down a little bit more. We'll see you in a few. All right, you can see we're doing super, super slow. I have it on a very low flame. And we're going to bring it up to a boil in a very, very careful manner, slow, so we don't end up with egg chunks. That's the trick with doing, uh, this is called a curd, but this very much reminds me of making like a chocolate custard. Very similar process. So anyway, we're going to come back to it in a few more minutes. You can see things are ever so slightly more melted, but there's still large chunks of my butter to get melted in. And then once everything looks like it's completely combined, I might raise the heat a little bit more. And then I'm going to sit here and do something like this, just constantly stirring, keeping it agitated so that no one part of the liquid is getting scorched. All right, so it's probably about five, six, seven minutes in total. You can see many of the small pieces of butter are already incorporated. There's a couple of large chunks of butter still left. But now we are approaching having a completely mixed mixture. If I could use some potentially bad English. So... We'll come back to it in a few minutes. All right, so you'll see here it's now completely liquid. Let me give you a little better. Completely liquid. We've raised the heat a little bit, and we're gonna start stirring a heck of a lot more, bringing it up to a boil. So that's what the plan is. We'll come back to you in a couple minutes when we're a little further along and maybe boiling. All right. I would say we might be approaching 20 minutes in. And I'm just starting to see some bubbles. Might go ahead and goose up the heat just uh, ever so slightly. Now we're going to be stirring just about constantly. You can use the time that you've been, you know, sort of stirring and then coming back and uh, clean up all your mess. That's what I just did. So this is a critical step where you're turning it into a custard and not scrambled eggs. As you bring the temperature up, 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 if you do it too fast, then you make scrambled eggs. I think it's starting to thicken a little bit, but it's definitely still very liquid. So we're going to come back to it. I'm going to say probably around 30 minutes in, this is going to be perfect and thickened completely to the way we like it, and we'll strain it. 
All right, as you can see, maybe you can see, we're starting to boil. Um, it's gonna be stirring constantly now. That's been like this for a little while, and I'll tell you, it's a little thicker maybe, but it's it's not thickened. I wouldn't call that thickened. So I think it's gonna take more than a few seconds, like I like I was thinking. Uh, I don't know if I'm ruining the recipe right now by cooking it for so long, but it sure seems awfully liquid and not so thick yet. So we'll see. Give a few more minutes. Let it reduce a little more. A little thicker. Maybe once it cools down, it substantially thickens, but it still feels awfully liquid. And I want to say, like, uh, the chocolate... Chocolate uh, mixture I made was a little thicker than this. So I'm going to go a little bit th further using that as a guide. And we'll come back to it. We're almost there. I'm going to give it probably about two or three more minutes and we're gonna call it good. Come back to you. Alright, we're gonna call it good. It's been like this for a while and we're only supposed to be doing this for a few seconds. Uh, never really thickened up too much. I'm hoping that's gonna happen when we turn off the heat and strain it. It's definitely a little thicker. I don't know if I got it thick enough, though. We'll see. My grip is slipping here. There we go. That's better. good so let me see here that's the finished product we'll see how much that thickens up as it cools hopefully quite a bit if not I guess back on the stove it goes and we'll reduce it some more anyway everybody have a good day and uh, we'll make some crepes probably uh, to serve this with See you later.